now it's used in composite. I know it's used uh, in batteries. I heard of graphene, but only in the news. I know about graphene because I learned it all in class and I think that it's one of the most important things that the future offers. What I know is that if you've not heard about graphene, you will very soon. The aim of Graphene Pavilion and Mobile World Congress is to show the results and the activity of the Graphene flagship project. And we can see here the results of all this activity. It's now clear that Graphene has a key role to play in the future of telecommunications. And here for the first time at the Graphene Pavilion, we have a transceiver linking a detector and a modulator made of graphene transmitting at very high data speed. I'm impressed what I saw here today. I think when talking about the next multi-annual financial framework, about the next European budget, then we have to pay much more attention on those new technologies, including on graphene technology. Graphene has some incredible qualities, from improving the conductivity of certain uh, electronics to improving the efficiency of a photovoltaic module. And you can also put it in your clothes. Graphene can be used for many, many applications. It's flexible, it's transparent, it conducts electricity. You can integrate it in almost anything. So that's why you have so many different applications. We have prototypes with application in the range of electronics, biomedical, composite, telecommunication. The quality of the demos is significantly improved and it shows clearly that graphene is moving from the lab towards the factory floor. This year we have a, a very nice success story. A piece of graphene has been integrated in a datacom device for optical communications and now this same device is being shown by Ericsson in their hall. So this is where it all starts, but we wanted to go to the rest of the pavilions in the Mobile World Congress and show the same technology in more mature stage. The interest is huge and it's very high. Most of the audience has a background in mobile communication and electronics, so they see that there is something new here. They want to know about these new applications. Suddenly, that really cheap material it's something that promises a lot of things for humanity and saving the environment, computing power, energy efficiency, and I want to see it implemented. If you could see this pavilion in progression over the years, you would really notice how graphene traveled all the way from the simplest possible applications to batteries to transparent conductive coating, and this year we really have the first through mobile world applications. So I think we are on the right path and I'm really curious what's going to what's going to happen next year. As you can see it looks even more professional this year with more mature prototypes. We also have a lot more innovation meetings with other companies. Seeing this year Graphene Pavilion is great because it's again full of energy, a lot of interested people and I think it's a continuous interest towards our actions. So I think it's uh, the momentum is still growing, which is good.